Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Panther QS2. Be the enemy's battlefield cancer with Panther QS2. Okay, so last episode we were able to defend base pretty well. I did fix up the, uh, if we go to Mechbay real quick, did fix up the other Panther. I mean, I, I still, we're still looking for better headgear and I know I picked up a couple of fire control systems, but instead of using one of those, I use the fire control system ballistic because we, this is the, the mech with the uh, rotary rifle in the arm. So I'm hoping that helps a little bit with the rotary rifle hitting. And I only had improved sensors. I didn't have any cockpit to put in it. So it's basically back to the way it was. Main lance didn't take that much damage. I think we had an actuator damaged on the vindicator or arm actuator or something, but it's all fine. Now, uh, the second lance is back. We've got the Orion back. I'm going to show you that in a second. I'm going to swap these two around. I definitely look at the pilots. And um, I'm thinking that, um, ah, man, name of the pilot. Come on, Vision. Sorry, took me a second to, re to remember the pilot's name. So Vision has got, uh, where are you here, buddy? There you go. It's good to go. So we've got um, control bursts on Vision, which reduces jam chance multiplier for a couple turns and stuff. So that could give us a couple of turns of firing that rotary off. I think we're going to put him on the... The, um, the Orion. So let's have a look at the Orion build loadout here before we go into battle. Uh, let's have a quick look. So I'm, I'm concerned about the heat on this. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to work out. So we've got the heavy rotary. Uh, as I said, we've got Sabo ammo. Uh, basically, like it's like kind of like AP, AP ammo. There's more damage to armor, less the structure. But um, it'll do a lot of damage to the external armor. And then we've got the regular heavy rifle ammo. So if we've got someone that's been penned, we can hammer them hard with the heavy rifle ammo, the normal stuff. But this guy is basically for cracking shells. Had to put a small cockpit on here. We have all of the advanced gear in the head, so hopefully the pilot does not bail out. We have a fire control system advanced TC, which is the uh, minus 20% multiplier to jam chance. So I'm ho hoping to keep this rotary like wound up as much as I can. Gives a plus one to offensive push accuracy. I'm not really looking for OP accuracy on this thing. I'm just looking for um, like not jamming and being able to fire as much as possible. Although with the recoil being as high as it is, I mean, if we have to fire two turns in a row, great. But like I said, I was planning on cycling it on and off. So we'll see how that goes. We'll test it out. It's got the tracker sensors on this thing for because I don't plan on closing too much with this. It's not a really it's not a really fast mech with a 250 core. We're moving pretty darn slow. It's a three five movement. So it's, it's about as fast as the uh, Vindicator is, but we don't need to get close. We've got the Battle Computer Heat, drop some heat, Battle Computer Recoil, it uh, helped you with a bit of recoil here. And we got a Snub PPC and a Plasma Cannon as the two backup weapons. So I'm hoping those work well. We've got the Spa Liner so it can take uh, a bit of damage here. Don't really have a lot of room left over, but we got also three double heat sinks. So I'm not 100% sure, like I said. The heat efficiency right now is saying uh, 8195, so 95 alpha strike. So if we leave off the plasma cannon, that gives us 50 less. So it's 45 alpha strike, but it's not really because I think it's taken into account the heat is 30 with two shots. So I think it's 90 with all six. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. 90 with all six. So we've got the exchange. This is the best exchanger I had to drop in here. Unfortunately, we'll get a better exchanger. I'll switch, swap it out, which is why this battle computer heat is here. So hopefully when this thing is wound up, I mean, it's not going to be an additional 60 heat. It's going to be 15% less because we have 10% here and 5% here. So 15% less. So it'll be an additional, my math is right, 51. So that'll give us, like, well, this won't be doing 30. It'll be 27? No. 26 and a half and 51. 77 and a half heat, which is well within range of the 81. So if we move, like if we run and fire the rotary, we should be under heat. In theory, we should be under heat. And then, the, then when we drop the recoil the next turn, the snub nose, which has got 30 heat, and the plasma cannon, which is the 50, so it's 80. 
it should be, you know, like I said, 15% less than that. So we should be able to alternate between the heavy rotary and the snub and the plasma back and forth. So we're going to see how it works out this battle. I'm not 100% sure this is the best loadout, but I thought it would be something to try. I did try and mix and match other lasers and stuff, but still we're going to be alternating between the two weapons, right? It'll be the heavy rotary or something else. Until we can get, like, we've got... Um, the prototype double heatsink kit now and a couple of prototype double heatsinks so you know i might try and work this in but i once again it's it's going to be it's going to be a balancing act right with the rotaries without recoil reduction it's going to be if you well, well we'll test it out today and see i max the armor on this a little bit but drop the back armor a little bit legs a little bit ct a little bit but everything else is maxed out so that's the orion let's see how that works out today we're going to go straight into a battle. Let's get our um, command center going. We got that four skull. Uh, here we go. Four skull rescue mission. So this is against the local government, I believe. Um, was it or is this pirates? Uh, local government forces. Okay, so I mean it could be anything. Going to go full salvage. Hopefully we don't take too much damage. And let's get our, um, load our, nope, B-Lance, fly. And then we're going to swap out the Centurion, move the Avatar up for Boomer. And then we're going to bring down the Rabid Coyote, see if we can get that into battle today. Orion's going to come down, and we're going to pull the Hetzer out, and we're going to put in the Ferret. So I think we're probably pretty well loaded out here. Not too, too worried about it. I wonder if we should swap out. Mm, nah, we'll just go. I was just wondering if we could swap out the uh, the Yellow Jacket for the Cloud Buster or something. But I think we're probably pretty good here. So let's just deploy. Yeah, you say it might need more, but I think we're fine. Interface initiated. Okay, this is not the map I thought it was. I thought we would have been in the caldera, but this is the mountain map. And that's our LZ over there. Uh, most likely they got two lances. Ready to rock, chief. So, ooh, yeah, so they've got guys at the top. We could spawn over. This is where we spawned the past few times. Kind of moving along this way. Kind of affords us the best opportunity to hit. Maybe they've only got one lance. They, uh, they might get reinforced. I think they get reinforcements after we enter the facility. Not much of a facility though, is it? Okay, we're going to start back here. Um, can we get... Is that it? Just that spot right there? Alright, well... Let's just go ahead and let's put the mechs, this guy is the avatar, put you there, stealth, Orion, and the vehicles for some reason, they're not giving me, come on, okay we'll put them both in the same spot. Kind of tight, close quarters here. Hopefully they don't have any artillery. At least we don't have our back facing the enemy. Alright, what do they got here? Stealth? Raven? They better have something better than that. I have four skulls. And the stealth isn't bad. The Raven is like, can be tough to hit. Um, okay, 17. I wonder if we just, uh, I mean, it's a back shot, but we're not really going to be able to hit on turn one. So let's just wait for a second. Turn one's always the worst. Well, I guess it's round two. 15, let's see what the Raven does. 
All right. Waiting for orders. Let's get this beast moved forward. Got it. I might start off with the plasma cannon here. We'll just find out what our chances to hit are first. Well, okay. Not too... I mean, that's not too bad, I guess. So, heat-wise, if we leave these two off... Okay. A little bit over with the snub, a lot over with the plasma. So we could, I mean, if we have to, we could run the risk of running both of these in the same turn if we wanted to. I'm going to go this route this turn. Fire these two shots off. Firing. Nah, a little bit of residue. Yes, Commander. All right. Um, Coyote, we want to get you into battle. So if we turn the hot seat, I didn't use the hot seat cockpit last time. So that's a bonus walk when active, bonus melee when active. So it's only for really walking, right? So it's not going to do much. I mean, if we alternate, so if I go with supercharger first and we sprint. Okay, that's as far as we can go. Let's get up to here. No shooting. So we'll sprint this turn. And then alternate. We'll switch back to the hot seat next turn and get the bonus walk. And hopefully be a little further ahead. I can't see the stealth anywhere here. It's pretty stealthy. Receiving you. Nice if we can get some melee shots off against that stealth. Okay, let's get into here. We might get a see might get some eyes on here. Nope, still pretty quiet. Alright. Well. Raven it is. Not the best chance to hit, but we'll take it. All right. Take whatever damage we can get. Same thing. Copy that, Commander. I'm going to try and push this hill hard. I'm going to take the top as fast as we can, I think. Get this dropship down here, get some competition in play. Uh, let's put you all the way up to the top. Fire it all. all weapons are moved. Ooh, large laser on. Couple machine gun hits. Boom, ah, our insides. Actually, let's get Boomer up first. Hey, um, let's go here. Copy that, Commander. I don't want to do back damage to my guys early. We'll wait till later on when it's when we're more vulnerable Ready to, to do back damage to our own our own units. Uh, let's get up to here. Not worried about shooting that uh, Raven. I want to keep the top. Oh, we got eyes on the stealth now. Nice. We will take a shot at him though. I got you. Alright, one of the streaks hit. Alright, we got Road Rash and Vengeance at good speed here. Yeah, the heavier the mechs, the slower they're gonna be. It's all quiet. The hell are these things? Sure. Rottweiler? Whatever. Receiving you. What happened to the uh okay we turn you off. Turn you on. So that's the walk. The sprint wait a minute, how am I getting bonus sprint? with the hot seat when it doesn't say plus 60 meter walk distance, right? The heat gets jacked up. 25 heat teeth for turn. I don't know. Because that looks faster to me. Well, I'm not going to do an iffy, iffy whatever about it. We're just going to move in and get this guy. Yeah, see, like, we're, we're overheat for sure. But let's leave you off. We'll leave the heat up, though. Because I think we do... Don't we, don't 
Can we do more damage with when we're... I can't remember. Uh, where are we here? One time, one and a half times melee damage was activated. Anyway, we'll just fire both of these. See if we can get some acid on this guy. I copy. All right, we got one hit and a tag on. Makes him a little easier to hit. Standing by. Yeah, just stay away from those little guys down there, please. You can pull back here. I'm interested to see what our chance to hit is, though. Okay, not as bad as I thought it would have been. But way better against this guy. We're going to take that shot. I'm going to leave the Thunderbolt off because we're going to get more guys coming up. So hopefully we get a better chance to hit Locked on those. On. Okay, penned. Probably arm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, at least both these mechs are moving into melee range. Ow. Where did you pen? Armor blow through internal damage. Yeah. Was that, uh... Yeah, that was AP. Hit the CT. Ah, right, ghost. Okay. A couple large pulse lasers. Reporting heavy damage. Yeah, I see that. Alright, so they're actually not a bad lance here. I mean, with the exception of these guys, which will probably be hard to hit, but that's fine. Alright, well, we'll get the rotary going to be winding up this turn. Stealth has decided to move forward. Wow, doing a lot of damage against the Stormcrow this turn. Light damage. Holding firm. Ready for order. A lot of damage against the Stormcrow this turn. Uh, well, that's a pretty low chance to hit. That's a pretty low chance to hit. That's crazy. Pretty low all around. Well, let's get over to here. I'm gonna go after this ghost. Ghost seems to be the guy with the uh, one of the most, like the highest uh, damage output. So let's just go after him. Uh, let's go with the APFSDS. Don't have a lot of ammo on this thing, though. Got like five turns of firing. So let's uh, just hammer this guy. Got it. Nothing. Thought I would have got at least one. A lot of recoil. A lot of recoil for no results. Get up here. Moving out. Let's get up here. Let's remove this guy. Engaging target. Wow, you miss with both of them. Skipper. Don't you miss. Get there. That was insane, that, those misses. Alright, got past the armor. Nice. Inflicted some nasty on that some bitch. Nice. Hi, Boomer. It's a big Boomer. Get over to here. Roger, Skipper. Taking it. I don't know. I don't know who I want here. Maybe this guy. Yeah. Leave that off for now. Uh, let's give it to him. I'm gonna save the rockets for later. Uh, can we get a kill here? Like we penned. I just I have to do a lot of damage in the right spots to kill him. Let's just fire. Four hits, nice. All right, see what they do. These guys go first. Moving up to here, taking a shot at him. 
And then what? Who's next? Vengeance. Oh, you got a bit of speed, eh? I guess we gotta deal with you earlier. A lot earlier. This battle got real interesting real fast. Damn. I'm taking internal damage. That's CT. Good to go. No, that's arm. Let's just back up for now. So we're not under threat from that little guy. And we'll hammer this guy. Alright, tag's on. Okay, what to do, what to do, what to do. That Rottweiler's gotta go. I wonder if I can melee him. Oof, these guys are really, like, meaning business here. Getting banged up real good here. I can see that. Ready for orders. Okay, hot seat. Let's risk it. Let's go after... So we can melee this guy. Twenty-four percent chance. Eighty-one with a kick on this guy. So if we come from behind... Wow, we're really hot here. Because of this. But if we leave those off that's 110 damage see here the thing this is the thing this is acid ammo doing 15 damage a pop although it's got a shitty chance to hit if we use the physical weapon what are we looking at 106 the punch does 110 kick is only 91 but it's a leg shot Charge is 46% chance to hit. Better chance to hit or... And it's only 4 points less. And that should be upper body, shouldn't it? If it's a physical weapon. I guess it could be anywhere. Uh, yeah, let's go with the sword. Affirmative. Of course. No joy. Well, we hit with the tag. So there's that. <laughs> oh, man. The problem I find with melee is it's, it's an all or nothing thing. And you guys know how I feel about all or nothing. God damn, we're getting killed here. We are getting killed. I'm catching some. I walked in cocky, that's the problem. I'm here. Alright, let's start this way. Order acknowledged. Now, um 46 on this guy. He's got a lot of armor though. Looks like he got some friendly uh fire against him. Fifty two on this guy. Let's go after the. Let's, get, let's try and get rid of this stealth. Firing from a point of advantage. It's taking a lot of damage already. Orders. Okay, let's uh, vigilance you. Back up. I'm there. I gotta drop. I gotta use the rockets. I gotta get rid of these guys. So, let's not fire on you. Oof, really, eh? I guess it's the Raven. Hopefully we don't miss and hit our own guy, though. Leave the rockets off, then. Fire 
Firing. Nice. What's up, boss? Got lucky there. See, this is the problem now. The plasma cannon. Confirmed. It's going to spill over on our own guys, right? If we have to... Like, i got to be careful of that. Chance to hit those garbage. Yeah, see, like, the rotary is just, like... It just tanks. Every, like, every time it fires, it just tanks. Okay, I can't shoot that guy, really. Let's try this guy. Okay, at least the plasma cannon hit. He's overheating. Alright. Alright, uh, alright, irritable bowel syndrome. Affirmative, Commander. Let's get up here, see if we can finish this stealth off. We gotta get somebody. <laughs> we gotta kill somebody fast! You're facing the wrong way, pal. There we go. Okay, there's a start. I need a new target. <laughs> Okay, their little freaking Rottweiler is going first. I'm interested to see where he's going to... Probably going to go after this guy. Although he could go after him. Or he could go after one of the vehicles. Oh, he's retreating. Oh, that's interesting. Orders. Okay, let's turn you off. Do we need the supercharger for a melee attack here? We don't. 52. I don't want to leave my back to that guy, so I mean, I could come around this side. Sixty-five percent, eh? Fuck me. But then again, I mean, this isn't a this pilot isn't a full melee pilot yet, so. Go after him. Let's go here. We can only charge. 46% chance for a charge. Or if we go against this guy. So that's... So his right side is taking leg damage. We could go here. We could kick. And drop on both of those. With a kick attack. I mean, we're merely, so let's try it. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Sure. Myth. At least the acid hit. Scored critical hit. Alright. Let's move forward a little bit. Once again, we're going to hammer the same guy. We've got to get rid of this guy. I'm on him. See ya. Enemy eliminated. And just like that, we're up two. We've taken a lot of damage, though. It's really going to depend on what this next lance is. Ah, shit. Bloodbuster's taking a lot of damage now, too. Reporting. Serious armor loss. Yeah, I saw that. Commander. Okay, let's move over here. Ooh, that's pretty nice. I'm going to use this one. Do as much damage to this guy as possible. Firing. Engaging with target. Oof, nice. I think we hit with everything. I'm here. Time for a little payback. I'm not going to move forward because uh, those little shit burgers are going to come up next turn, so... I'm going to leave both machine guns off of this one. I don't want them to jam because I want to use them against the little uh, Rottweilers. Okay, both laser, large lasers hitting. It's nice and toasty. To Ooh, okay. We're just going to close the distance a slight little bit. Heading out. Make my day. Engaging with target. That looked like that looked like four hits. 
Like this. Okay, things are slowly turning around. Slowly. Ready to rock. Very slowly. Getting the trees. I'm there. Face that Rottweiler. Or face the Rottweilers. Uh, let's just go straight up for the kill. Oh, perfect. Oh, he's not XL. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Show them what you got. At least now we can just focus on this little shit. Get him, get rid of him. Hopefully quickly. He's running. You run, but don't run too far. One of their guys died. Did I actually? I may have hit one with the PPCs. That could that could have been a thing. Get up here. We'll just chase him. I may have hit one of them with the PPCs when I was fired against the Raven. Yes, Commander. All right, you. Um, everything is off. Okay. Cannot sprint because I'm unstable. Vigilance. Take care of that problem. Can I get a shot on that guy? I cannot. Move over here then. Understood. Moving fast. Drop our heat. A little bit. Orders. And we're not gonna get to shoot, so let's push forward, stay Stop out of the front. fire. Took a lot of damage from these guys. I'm receiving. I'm you. guessing it's due to pilot skill. Like they probably got really skilled pilots. Just push it. These machine guns back on. Receiving you. Well, drop that recoil. Get up here. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta figure out another balancing weapon rather than this heavy rotary. What are your orders, Skipper? Yeah, it's going through fire. Well, not much choice. Let's just get up over here. I got you. All right, let's see what they do here. Let's see what they do. Still running. God, quit running. Receiving you. It's a full sprint, huh? That's fine. I copy. Waiting for orders. We are slow. Thank God this thing's fast. Go to here. Confirm. Confirm. Nope, that guy's vanished. He is vanished. Copy that. I guess the vehicles are going to have to chase him down. Because these mechs Order. are definitely not going to get there on time. Gonna swap those two around for now. No shooting, just running. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really convinced about this Orion. It's a weird loadout. Yes, Commander. The plasma cannon, I think, can be swapped out for something. Got it. But I don't know what yet. No like maybe an ERPPC or something. It's like 56 heat or whatever. I think we got a clan ERPPC. It's like 56 heat or something like that. Um. So he's on this part of the hill. Let's get over here. Don't want to go in the target zone just yet. I want to do it with a mech, not a vehicle. He's still running. Well, I mean, our vehicles have got a chance to get him, I guess. Standing by. Get up here. You. 
I'm barely dropping any heat. Ready for order. I must have taken an engine hit or something. That I'm not aware of. Understood. Moving which back. is probably likely. Commander. Keep going. I want either you or the Avatar to take this, uh... Probably gonna be the Avatar since it's the closest. Ten four. So slow. Standing by. All right, can you? I'm here. No, the guy's just too fast. Affirmative. It's just too fast. What are your orders, Skipper? Get a backstrike on him. Garbage chances to hit, but whatever. Eight points. I don't know what makes battle armor so hard to hit. Like, they get huge defensive bonuses, I guess, because of their size. But then there's, like, rotunda scout cars that are just about the size of a battle armor that don't get that same bonus. Yes, Commander. And you would think the heat that they're outputting from those suits is probably more than, you know, a vehicle heat. I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm wrong. You. Maybe I'm wrong. I most likely am. I still can't see you. Oh, we gotta keep going. Oh, that's iffy. I think I should have been able to see that guy. Standing by. Get up here, just in case he gets out there in the open. Oops. Is that the building we were supposed to get the person from? Yeah, my bad. Waiting for orders. Sorry, we got vengeance. We got vengeance going on. Uh, no, don't go inside. There we go. Aye, aye. Ready to rock. All right, you. Wow, I can only shoot him from one spot. Sure. Let's go. That guy seems to be able to go through terrain that we can't. That's fine. I mean, this thing is, what, hover? So, it's got limited movement. I get that. I get that. Here we go. Hey, nine points. I'll take it. Confirm. Oh, there we go. Finally. Okay. Now they should be getting reinforcements. I thought a dropship would have come down right away, but maybe it doesn't come down right away. Where the fuck are you guys going? Maybe they have a bonus movement because they're quad? Commander. Well, let's put you there. Gonna stay away from the edge of the, the cliffs and stuff here. Ready for orders. Uh, same with you. Position confirmed. No idea what the enemy is gonna drop. Yes, commander. Can you? We can get a shot in these guys. Let's get in the trees though to do it. On the move. I have no idea where the enemy is gonna be, so. It's garbage, but we're gonna take it anyway. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Nope. Hey, yep. What do you think, buddy? Think you can get those peeps over there? No, can't. Let's go right here. Might be able to do next turn. The heavies might be able to get a shot off at him. Yes, commander. 
All right, get as close as we can. All right, not too bad. Fire in. Ooh, one of the large lasers hit. Nice. Unit destroyed. Lots of damage. Reporting critical hit. Excellent. Skipper. Okay, it's not too bad right there. Are these, are these guys running because they're like... Oh, they got ballistic still. Thought maybe they'd run out of ammo or something. Look at that. Chances to hit. Garbage. Eight, twelve, sixteen points. I still don't see any other drops. There's got to be one more lance. Like, I mean, this can't be it. Receiving you. Well, he's still in range. Not great chances to hit, but you never know. Oh, one hit, nice. Ready for orders. Just sit there. Bracing for impact. Oh, there we go. Affirmative. So the, both the heavies and light should be able to fire. Yeah, not the best chance to hit, but we'll fire everything. Copy that. Ooh. Reporting. Critical hit. Why couldn't you do that earlier? Uh, let's just get down here. Acknowledge. Get off that hill. There you are. Confirmed. Wow, I can't, uh... From nowhere over there, can I shoot this guy? Oh, wait, 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 there it is. There it is. You got it. It's kind of weird. Well, this looks bad. Ooh, one of the streaks hit. Maybe both of them hit, I don't know. It's gone, though. Finally. Tango is trash. Is that it? Mission successful. Aww. Well, 208,000. It was going to cost us more than that in repairs. They put up a good fight at the very, very beginning. And then they just lost it. I'm, I'm disappointed in both the Rabbit Coyote and the Orion. But we're going to keep them the way they are. We're going to try it again with a different match. So let's see what we got here. A couple of raven pieces. Don't think we have. Now we don't have any ravens. Although these aren't bad. That's nice. Just gonna put it there for now. Come sweets. Yeah, we need cockpits. Ooh, patchwork materials tier three. Wow, well, there's not much left here, eh? And I think we take these. Much as I want these, I mean, we'll probably get one of them in the roll. Not a lot survived. We wrecked those guys. Holy crap. Um, sure. Let's just take that. We got almost everything. We didn't get the mask, unfortunately. Uh, ER mediums didn't, but we got the blaze fire, which we got three of. Flint Clan Flamer, Large Pulse Laser, Beagle Probe. We got uh, one of the comm suites. Basic cockpit can go. Fire control system approval. Hold on to for the one gunnery. It might get used somewhere. So we made a few sea bills. Picked up a couple things we could use. Took a fair bit of damage. Got all the parts though. So that's not too bad. Oh, the stealth. Okay, yeah, sorry, 45 tons. Sorry, the Rottweil is 4 tons. See, I don't know, man. That much armor, so it's four tons. Think about it. There's four units, so each one is one ton. So technically, if you think about it, they could have half a ton of armor, which is how many points? Yeah, it's about right. 
144 divided by 4 is what? Uh, let's see, it's 12 times 12, so it's like like 40, not 48, is it 48? No. 30 something each. 38 each, is that what it is? No. Somewhere in there. Because it was 144 armor they had. And then one weapon. But that was a pretty fast move. Like, I don't know how they calculate all this stuff, or they just kind of like throw it in. But that, I mean, for four tons, that was a pretty fast move for four units with four weapons. And a fair bit of armor. Like, it's faster than a, a, like a rotunda scout car. But anyway, whatever. So I didn't really mean it was faster than a rotunda scout car. What I meant was that for four, I mean, each unit's one ton. So you compare that to a rotunda scout car, which I think is, what, 15? 15 or 10 or something like that, right? the weight and the distance it goes for like 10 tons. This thing's only like one ton and it travels a ridiculously far distance for that, for the, and has half decent armor. I don't know. I got to see how they're laid out. Like once we, once we finally get one of these units, I'll be able to check out and see how it's laid out. But uh, until that point, I can't really do that. Anyway, we're going to leave this episode here and what we'll do is get everybody repaired. Uh, I'm going to leave the loadouts as it is. But um, we've got some stuff to do, I think, for Pretty the mainlands. Come on in. There's like this one, capture base, three skulls, uh, against the pirates, which we're going to do, I think, next. And then um, we're probably going to jump, because it'll be close to the end of the month. We're, we're already close to the end of the month now. we got to wait five days for Big Texas to be back out, yeah, so it'll be two days before the end of the month. We'll jump, and then hopefully we can pick up some uh, better, better missions. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm up in the air about staying in Marion space or not. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I might try to go for like one of the uh, inner sphere houses to see if we can pick up some more quick sell stuff. I know the Marion seem to have a lot, but we've been playing at like a little higher level and I haven't seen a whole lot of it recently. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes in the next couple of, couple of missions and then, you know, we'll determine where we're going to go from there. But I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And go check out the QuickSell site. And until next time, we'll see you later.